have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Had a dream that she could do it, could do it. Somehow she lost her way and didn't stick to it. stick to it She wanted the house, the cars, the money She did all that she could In her mind she was so focused, so focused. Doing overtime in the diner Dine. Just wanted someone to wine and dine her Dine. She didn't believe in herself Believe in yourself Believe in yourself Believe in yourself even if nobody does Believe in yourself Believe in yourself Believe in yourself Even if nobody does Don't let nobody tell you that you can't when you can the doctor for some answers they said she wouldn't make it she couldn't take it she did all that she could getting sick from the chemo bank account started looking real low she knew she could make it she wouldn't take it she believed in herself believe in yourself you can do it believe in yourself believe in yourself even if nobody does Even if nobody does Don't let nobody tell you that you can't when you can Blessings upon blessings. This is the Tea Time Show with T. Spence and my co-host, Kimmy Kim, on this Tuesday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. Central. So sit back and grab your favorite cup of tea and tune in. Call in if you'd like to participate, 646-564-9842 on the Elation Radio Show. Hey, Nancy, you must be uh, stupid. <laughs> hey, 
I've been dealing with power power outages all day because, you know, it's about to be summertime. So that summer weather is coming, you know, April showers or something, bring May flowers or just something like that, you know. So I'm over here just trying to keep the lights on. Hi, so is there, I mean, how is the weather there? Is it really bad or? Well, it's just. Do you it's guys get hurricanes right now? Yeah, it's just um, thunderstorming right now, you know, and, the, you know, and just the heavy rains and stuff like that. But we're okay. We're okay. We're here for the show yes, for yes, the yes. Tea Time Tuesday. Exactly. Because we missed it last week because you have people in town. I was like, yay. I did. I got, I had to <laughs> run off to the last minute airport pickup because the other person was still at work. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to miss my show. I'm going to miss my Kimmy Kim. <laughs> how was it? I'm glad that you were able to you know, see some people. And how was it? It was good. It was good because you know I'm kind of a hibernator. Like I'm an introvert. I don't go out that much. But when um one of my uh cousins came into town, we um had a nice time mm-hmm. for the weekend and went out to eat and had oh, some wow. girl time, some sisterhood time. You know, it's all That's about the thing. sisterhood. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. I enjoyed it. Yeah. So I guess this yeah, evening we'll awesome. be talking about yeah mental health and mental wellness because there definitely is a difference. What do you think about that? That sounds great. I'm looking forward to it. And so yeah, um, I'm following your lead. Yes, let's do it. Okay. Well, you know, mental health includes your emotional psychological and social well-being it affects how we think Mm -hmm. feel and act it also determines how we handle stress related to other things and it helps us make healthy choices you know because if you're not in a in a a mind body and soul blessed state then everything else can be off in your world and it's hard to it's hard to get a well balance there so it's good to have mental health and mental awareness where you have a good support system around you. So I like that. I like that um, knowing that people have, yeah, good support systems around them. Cause that means everything. Cause you know, it can mess with your childhood. It can mess with your, um, uh, uh adolescence and then, then it can contribute to how you feel about your adulthood. So it's a hard thing to grasp Absolutely. if you don't have all those things together. Yeah. And I think it also plays a part in your development. Because, yeah, absolutely. Um, it, it can lead to um, physical health issues if we don't maintain a healthy mind. And uh, wellness, especially that mental wellness, is now getting its um, attention because it's been overlooked for quite some time. But um, I'm in agreement with you. Well, it's also, you know, we got to look at what just happened with COVID and how everybody had to be Mm -hmm. in their homes and couldn't go out and about. That affected people a lot. Like, they could not, like, deal with being confined to the four walls of their home and not getting out, socializing, exercising, you know, being able to eat right and all that type of stuff. So, you know, it also determines how we handle stress related to others and how we make healthy choices. Mental health is also very important to everything that we do. Everything that every it every is. decision that we make, it, it's got to be a positive mental health, mental awareness type of thing. Absolutely, and I'm just grateful that um, you uh, um, you allow me to have this topic because I I tend to like I like to you know glean on other people's ideas of how they take care of of their mental health. What do you do? Mm-hmm. Well, um, I meditate a lot. Do? Yeah, I okay. meditate a lot. I like to meditate and um, 
stay, I like to plant flowers. I like to stay one with the earth and feel the dirt under my hands. Like I'm giving life to something and I like watching it grow and I like watering my flowers and misting them and just watching them, you know, grow into a whole nother plant. Cause I, I, I made that happen. I created that, um, that, that life form right there. So I like doing stuff like that. And I also, you know, I've got, you know, a couple of pit bulls over here. So I like to walk. <laughs> I like to walk my dog. <laughs> uh-huh. I they, like to walk and my dog. They better watch out my... for messing with you. I, I like yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get my exercise in doing that and taking them to the dog park and watching them play with others. I love doing stuff like that. So, you know, there's just certain things that, you know, make my day about, you know, trying to keep my mental above ground. What do you do to make your mental health health awareness good? One thing I enjoy doing is I do, uh, I journalize uh, because Mm -hmm. I I like to sometimes look back on my um, thoughts and the things that I have overcome. I tend to do that. I also like reading the word and fellowshipping with you and 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 a, a couple more sisters. And I like plant growth. I need to get better at it because I tend to do well, but when it's time for it to come inside, I tend to forget them, so they don't like me right now. <laughs> Well, why don't so you just have part, plants that are outside? Why don't you have outside plants? Because it's cold. I have them in a pot. Do you have them in a pot or do you, you, you ground yeah, them? Yeah, I have them in, no, I have, well, I have some that are grounded for the, um like, just for the seasonal, but then I have some that are in pots that um that grow uh, yearly. And you, well, you know, Florida, you guys, you know, never get cold. Yeah, we got we got that good, good good weather. Right, we got that good, 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 you know. (laughs) Well, they say mental and physical health are equally important components overall. Like, for example, depression sometimes increases the risk for many types of physical health problems particularly long-lasting conditions like diabetes, heart disease, and sometimes strokes. Similarly, the presence mm-hmm. of chronic conditions can increase with the risk of mental illness. So if you're not taking care of your mental awareness that doesn't take care of your mental health issues that can bloom into something else further down the road. Oh, wow. Yeah. Like if you're, you know, and if you're in, yeah, if you're in a bad state of mind or if you, if you feel and act a certain way, it also determines how we handle stress, how we relate to others, Mm -hmm. how, like you say, you fellowship, how sometimes, you know, if you're not in a good mental awareness state, you know, and make, and, and it doesn't allow you to make healthy choices. Mental health is important in every stage of life that you go through to be able to make you flourish and blossom. I I concur because once again, uh, when you have another thing that, that I tend to do that's important as well is to be real with your feelings. You know, we were taught it's good right. to keep these in and don't let your emotions burn. I let them out. Okay, this is what you've done to me, and I didn't appreciate it. I'm not like that anymore because that tends to um, cause things to build up, and before you know it, you are exploding like a volcano. So I'm with you on that one. I got to yeah. tell you, you know, that's yeah. how you build relationships. I really believe that. Right, because it makes your relationship grow. It's like a garden. If you don't feed it and you don't water it, how can it grow? How can a friendship grow if you're not honest with that friend about how they're making you feel and what they're doing to you? Absolutely. So that's why I really believe um, letting go of some of your feelings. And you know what's really good, too? I love music. Do you? I know you love music. That's sweet. Oh, you know we, we were dancing together. in a club back in the day. So you know I love music. I, I say that music calms the savage beast within. Within me that I just put on some music and I'm good to go. Thank you. So that's another thing that I enjoy doing. So 
as you seem like, okay, one of the favorite shows that I tend to watch, and I just watch it because I don't know why I'm, I I like these type of shows, but it's called Fatal Attraction. It's on TV One, and it talks about you crimes that people commit. You always watch scandalous stuff. You always watch the most no, 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 no. scary but stuff. It's weird, right? <laughs> no, no, it's not scary. It's like a reality show on crime and how people who fall in love and get lost because that person wants to leave them and they end up killing each other. And I'm like, it has to be a mental breakdown for people to think that they have the right to take someone's life. Because what it's teaching me is that people don't know how to manage their emotions and their mental man, their mental man properly because no one has the right to take your life if things doesn't work out. I'm just saying. And so yeah. that's why I, I, I'm taken to that. It's, it comes on every um, Monday on TV1 at um, 9 o'clock. It's a standard of time, and the reason why I look at it, I just want to see what people think, you know. You know, when they're, like, in relationship, why do they resort to such uh, crime? It's crazy, you know. Yeah, so, they, you know, where yeah. is their state of mind? Where is their state of mind to make them take somebody else's life? Absolutely. That's why I watch them. I just, I just look at it just to see why it's such a thing, you know, why people think it's, they have a right to do that. And so what, what has taught me is sometimes people don't know how to manage their um, emotions with people. They tend to right. give them their all, and if they don't have them, they feel as if they don't have anything to live for. So that is what I'm right. getting. So... That's well, I, I I agree. Yeah. You know, you got you got to be, and that's the that's the thing. That's why you got to have a good support system so that you can talk to mm-hmm. different people about different things, and they give you different perspectives about what it is that um they are going through and what you are going through, and to see if you can help one another. You know, not harm one another, Absolutely. but help one another so that you can get through these storms that are going on, that you can get through the the troubled times with the tribulations, and they can help you triumph through things, not, you know, make you more off balance, not make you more um, mentally challenged with what you're dealing with. Absolutely. And one, I wanted to go see the one vital verse that me as well, because, you know, People have mental illness in the Bible, and it talks about uh, how the Bible also helps with and oh, it it talks about think think of these things. Uh, it is found in Philippians, and it talks about the things that you should focus on. It's found in Philippians four eight. It says, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So I try to do that uh, with the Holy Spirit, but sometimes people get on my nerves. You know, I'm really bad on when my biggest my biggest thing is I'm getting better with road rage. You know, I don't like people. You know how you, uh, you're just, you know, <laughs> driving. No, seriously, you're just driving, and there's someone just pour in front of you. I mean, this is driving in front of you without any signals or anything, so that I'm still working on that part. But other than that, I, 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 I try to, you know, maintain a decent uh, mental um, health because it leads to physical because I am an overcomer of, of mental abuse. Yeah. Right. So how did you overcome, you know, the the abuse? Was it with, you know, positive thinking? Was it with clinical help? Was it with a support system? Was it with fellowship? How did you get through that? Because that had to be a time. All of those things above. Yes, all of those things above. Because when you leave, you're thinking that you're nothing because that person tells you you're nothing. 
So when I left, I felt as if I, I didn't, I, I felt like I was nothing. So I had to get back into the scriptures and find my way, and you know, allow God to talk to me so that I can, I can prove that I am more than what someone told me. And so now it allows me that experience. It allowed me to understand that no one deserves all of you. Right. And I can truly say it, it has taught me something about, you know, myself. Like, make sure that um, the people that you've given to, like your friend says, they're giving back. And I, I liked her. I was like, hmm, let me see who I want to let go. But I don't do that. I don't do that. But it's just something how she said that. I was like, you know what? That's cool that she has a, um, a yearly, uh, uh, inventory of people who really helped her and put into her. What was her name again? I like that right, idea. Right, right. Uh, Jacqueline Charles. Jacqueline, yeah. She was so amazing. Yes. But yeah. That is, that is a it, good it, thing. That's a good assessment to see who's helped you in your life within a year. You know what I'm saying? If you have heard from them or are they just sitting there on your phone for no reason. Like, what have they done Absolutely. for you? Have they checked on you? Have they, you know, have they called you? Have they told you they loved you? Have they, you know, reached out and seen if you need anything? Because that that helps a lot having, you know, like I said, like a strong support system. Because being by it yourself does. is hard. Being by yourself is lonely. Being by yourself is awkward. Being by yourself is uncomfortable. You know, so you want people to check on you. You want people to know that you're alive and that you're okay and things like that. So it's a um, it's a it's a it's a different state of mind you have to get through. Absolutely. Well, so you understand? Well, they say, <laughs> yeah, I understand because I've you know I've been through it. They say positive mental health has recently defined mental health as a state of well being in which individuals realize his or her own abilities. They can cope with normal stresses of life, can work productively and fruitfully, and is able to make contributions to his and her community. Now, that is a, mm. that's a positive mental state. So, and that's good. That's, that's, that's very clear. That's very concise. That's what you want your positive mental health to be so that you are giving back and that you are able to make good decisions and not rash decisions and in the heat of the moment. Absolutely, because I know I can make some interesting decision if I'm not thinking properly, and I have done that. Right, <laughs> right. So uh, you so have been around. So, I'm sorry, honey. I'm following you. I'm, I just been? love this discussion. I don't know. I was just talking, and 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 then I was like, I didn't want to. No, the phone went out in. for a second because I think it's my storm. Ah. I, said, I think it's my storm over here, so I think the phone went out for a second because this is pouring over here. I can hear it hitting the walls and about to blow oh, it over. Oh, really? I got, uh, I, I, yeah, I'm glad I got bricks over here. Are you okay? I don't want nothing yeah, happen to you now. Okay. No, no. If anything, it's going on outside of me. I'm okay inside the house. I'm just sad as the people that have got caught out in the rain. That's 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 nothing. Oh, that's nothing at all. Yeah. No, that's so good. <laughs> okay. But what no, I was saying is. Say... Mm-hmm. No, no, no. You go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, I was just saying. I know you have helped so many people with mental um, health, and I just wanted you to share that with some of the listeners of what do you tell them? What kind of advice do you give them? I believe it's, you know, staying in your faith, and I believe that knowing who you are is who you are and believing in yourself, like, and to be able, like you said, to talk out your emotions. Don't keep everything in. You know, because all it does is fester inside of you and then it bubbles up and it boils over and then you just combust. And like you said, like uh, some of the shows that you watch, something could be happening within, within that couple that they're not talking about and they're, they have animosity towards one another and they're not talking it out. They're not dealing with the real issues and then all of a sudden it just combusts and then next thing you know, somebody might be dead. 
Mm. So, you know, wow. so it's like, you know, I feel like you have to, it's a, it's a, it's a, you're a work in progress all day, every day. Like you got to know your emotions. You got to feel yourself. You got to know your self worth. You got to know, um, what you give is what you get to people, you know? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I, I, I feel like that, that is a, um, that is a that's a statement within itself. You give is what you get. You know, if you if you give out toxic energy, you're gonna draw back toxic energy. But if you give out peace and blessings and love, you're gonna get that in return. Not maybe all the time. There's always a b- bad apples in the bunch, but you know some of the time. You know, so but you, but at least you're still being you. You're being true to yourself, and you're you're walking and you're walking, you're talking, you're talk. Mm, that's good to know. That is really good. Oh my goodness. Because you know how sometimes when you can tell when someone has low self esteem, they tend to be more than they are, so they have to prove that they are worthy. I tend to pray right. for those people because you know, we all are going through the same things and there's no reason for you to pretend to be something that you're not. And that's what I found in college. A lot of people, you know, in my early years, especially at Morris Brown, a lot of people were pretending to be something that they weren't. And it kind of like, wow, people actually know who you are. You don't have to, you know, pretend like you're somebody that you're not. So that's why I, I, um, I um, like about you, you are always real. You kept it 100 no matter what. So <laughs> you've been the same uh, back then as you were now. So. <laughs> oh, why? Like, there's some like reason. I just, I just like to be true to myself so that I don't have to apologize for being me. You know, I know I have my mm-hmm. flaws and I know I have my, you know, um, sometimes, you know, over emotional characteristics that go on about me, but, you know, it's either you're going to love me or you're not going to like me. And you, you got to choose because I'm open and I'm accepting. Yeah. I'm open and I'm accepting to what you have to give. And, you know, I'm going to feed off of your energy because I'm an empath and I feel everybody's energy. I feel things that are going on around me and I take it in and I feel it and it's draining sometimes. It's really draining. So, you know, it's like, you know, you've got to know who you are and you need to stand in your own truth, your own worth. That's what it's all about. Yeah. And some people believe that true worth comes from, you know, what they possess, not the inner beauty because, I'm starting to learn more and more about myself over the last three weeks that, you know, we are beautiful black women, you know? People want to be like us. Right, exactly. But, but we don't have to flaunt it. We don't have to be somebody that we're not. And I mean, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. We are, and we need to know that, and we need to help one another. You know, if they don't realize that, we need to show them who they are and what, they, what they've what they got to give and what they're doing in life that is giving back and that is making mm-hmm. another woman feel special about herself and making her glow and shine and glisten and just, just you know, just be what we are as women and women of color and women of strength and women of just glorifying one another. That's what we need to do. Mm. With that being said, you, you hit a key opponent. How can we help one another in that area? You know, it's okay that, um, you know, you may see someone who is doing well, and we know that we serve a God. He will bless you and that person all at the same time. What can we do to let that person know that, you know, you don't know, like, don't be envy of someone who has been, you know, who has been blessed. Your, your turn is coming. But some people don't see it, you know. Some people tend to just still look at the bigger picture that she has it and I don't. But they don't work hard for it, you know. Have you seen have you seen something like that in your in your um in your walk, you yeah, know, when you see you sisters who are blessed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Exactly. Mm-hmm. I saw that a lot, especially in Hollywood. You know, Hollywood was so superficial and everybody just wanted to, you know, up the next woman and not help her along mm-hmm. in the, you know, the trials and tribulations of life out there. And so I saw that a lot and I had to really go at it my own by myself and try and figure things out by myself because I didn't get a lot of help out there. I didn't get a lot of camaraderie. I didn't get a lot of, you know, sisterly love. So it was it was very mm. challenging out there. It was very challenging out there. And, you know, Hollywood will chew you up and spit you out if you don't have a good support system. And I didn't have a good support system. So it was hard for me to to navigate through a lot of the stuff that was going on out there and do it by myself. And it's kind of like, you know, there were more men that were out there trying to help me than women. But we don't know. I didn't know what the men were coming at me for. So that was also hard. So I was just trying to figure things out myself. And I had to go with my gut instinct. Mm, That's good. That's really good. Okay, because it it shows because you've been around, you know, you you model and you've been around like the um, celebrities and uh, normal people like me, and and you have seen that, and that's why I ask because you have really experienced a lot in your life. With that being said, what can women do to build each other up and and when it comes to mental health? Um, because I think it's about. It's important because, that we build each other up. Yeah, I mean, it is. I think it's best that we just check on one another and we give mm-hmm. one another, like, props and let them know that they're beautiful and what they're doing is great and them giving back mm-hmm. and them, you know, what they're what they're doing out in the community is good. You know, they might need help at home. They might be overwhelmed at home, like with a lot of kids, with a lot of business, with a lot of Mm -hmm. stuff that they're doing. They might need a little checking on there. I think it's just good to check in with people. I think it can be, you know, texting is kind of impersonal to me, you know, because you don't Mm -hmm. really know how a person that's how a true. person really feels unless you hear hear their voice. They can say I'm okay all day every day through a text. But if you talk to them, you get to hear if they're sad, if they're down, if they're crying, if they're happy. That's how you really know how a person is. You know, if you just do those little check-ins and you just, you know, are um a supportive link in their life. That is good to know. Because yeah. I really believe that when you check on someone, you're letting them know that you care for them. And we right. all need that type of attention, no matter who we are. And it's a beautiful thing. It really is. When you can um, rely on to call you and check on you to make sure that everything is fine. And, you know, that's what a good friend is. And I think well, you, know. well, you make time for what you want to make time for. You have time in your day. You have time in your schedule. It's just what you want to make time for, what you want to do. You yeah. don't have to do anything, yeah. but if you want to do it, you're going to make the effort to do it. You're going to check on those special people. You're going to check on somebody that you know might be feeling a little depressed, might be feeling a little down and out, and give them a little extra care, a little extra love, because they might need to be talked to. They might need to be nourished. They might need to um, just cry a little. They might need to just, or be happy, and you crack a joke with them. You just don't ever know. Mm. Mm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And that's why we are called to be each other's um, sister or, um, as they say, sister keeper and to check up on each other because it does say in the Bible to love your neighbor. So if you see someone in need, just reach out to them, right? And, um, we are all in this together. That's what I'm saying. Absolutely. <laughs> Reach one, teach one. <laughs> <laughs> so what what 
what what tea have you drank this week? <laughs> I got you. I'm oh kind of yes, let's just talk about that because I ran out of my coffee and I haven't been to uh-huh. the store yet. So I uh-huh. um I have been drinking a um a peppermint tea. A peppermint tea. So oh. in the mornings that's what I I've been that. having a little spice to my day. I like it. I don't know if I like it more than my natural tea. But I like it, Ben, and it doesn't bother me when it gets cold. It starts off hot, like I brew it like it's some coffee, but it starts out hot. But then when it cools off, it's still good. So I like that. I can drink it throughout the whole day. If I put my cup down, I can pick it back up. What tea That's have you up. drank this week? Yeah. Hmm. What tea have I drank? I have drank my famous green tea. <laughs> Is it cold green You know, tea I love green tea. Green tea? I yeah. like warm green tea. I tried to do, yeah, yeah I tried to do the green tea uh, um, cold. It didn't taste the same to me. No, it doesn't taste. No, but it sure doesn't. It does not taste the same. Yeah. Do you like that as well? What? Do I do what? Do you like a warm uh, green tea as well? Um, yeah, I like the warm green tea, but I also like the cold green tea. Like the Arizona green teas are really good for me. Like I like the um the sweetness with the cold little crisp taste after it. So I like I like them both. But I just like green tea. Okay. So that's that's a good thing, yes. Okay, that's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that is that is that is what's up, you know. I mean, there's there's so much going on with, you know, these days and what's going on with, mm-hmm. you know, life. You got to keep in a good mindset about, you know, different things to do to help you with your wellness changes. Like you can um exercise for 30 minutes. You can eat healthier. Yeah. You can avoid mind altering substances like liquor and stuff like that and just things that might have you feeling a little you know off the cuff you know and you can realize what energy you're putting out into the world and respond to people differently like take the time to think before you just spit things out of your mouth because you might not be in the best mental state Mm -hmm. where you are that positive factor you know, and you have to prioritize your sleep. You got to get your sleep in. That's what it, it it helps a lot to get, you know, if you can get those eight hours in, you better try and get those, you know, those eight hours in. And you, and you know, you can also practice mindfulness. If you're mindful of what you're doing and you're in the moment and you got things going on and you think about people mm-hmm. and you think about how to reduce stress anxiety, depression, chronic pain building up can also be simple and repeatedly bringing yourself back to the present thought of the day, a happy moment, a happy time. Mm, You can pray or meditate. Yeah, you can pray Mm -hmm. or meditate. That's always a blessing. That's always, you know, something you can do. You can, you know, you can unload a little bit, you know, just unload with just, you know, your daily things, like you said, to journal, to journal it out or, you know, or just sit back and watch a good movie and just, or you just sit there and turn everything off because if everything is so busy around you all the time and you don't get any silence, sometimes it's great just to sit there in some silence, just to sit there in silence, you know, for a minute or two. And that's what I do. You know what? Yes, come on, you can meet some good, come yeah. on, because that yeah. is so I mean, true. You can, yeah, yeah, you can, you can do that, because I know you're busy, Kimmy, and you're on the radio a lot, are you, you? Know, your job, and you, uh, you got your kids, but I don't have, like, inside my home, it's always quiet, unless I want some noise, you know what I'm saying, because my, mm. you know, my dogs are moving around, but they're not talking back to me, they're not saying things, and the TV I can turn <laughs> off, and I can get, I can, you know, I can turn that off, and I can do that, and, you know, the music might be playing softly, you know, so it's just, a, it's just, you know, you gotta create your peace around you if things are so chaotic and hectic, and you gotta practice gratitude, you gotta be, you know, mm. gratitude can help lower stress, depression, and anxiety, this works especially if you write it down, like you said, and you get it out of your head so it's not just stuck up there where you're rethinking it over and over and over again. So 
you know, that's just a couple of things that you can, you know, you can do. And that's as well as connecting with others, like we mentioned before, you know, talking to people, talking it out, fellowshipping, you know, going to church or going to the dog park and just talking to people or just walking and listening to your music and exercising. Like those are some good things. And, and, and as well as giving back, you know, giving back is one of the things I love to do because I feel like I'm helping that person out. Like, you know, what I have mm-hmm. is, you know, maybe what I don't want anymore and I can give it to somebody else that might be in need of it. And I don't want to, to just to throw it away because it's good. Like, I know I just went through my closet and just took a bunch of dresses that I didn't want anymore and a bunch of clothes that I wasn't, if I hadn't worn in the past year, I didn't need it. You know what I'm saying? So I took a couple bags of clothes across to my neighbor and she loved it. And, you know, if you like it, I love it. If you love it, I like it. So, you know, it's just about giving back and doing just the small, the small things and not faking it. Don't fake it. Because if you fake it, it's going to be even harder. That's the thing. A lot of people fake it. And that's not what you want to do. Because when you right. fake it, you can't be yourself. Right. Why fake things that, that that's not real? and I can truly say that is so cool that we are talking about this because it's, I, I really believe um, it's really rapid in our communities now, um, mental illness. And so right. we have to, we have to really talk about it. Yeah, because it's a hush-hush thing. Nobody wants to deal with it. Yeah. Nobody wants to get therapy. Nobody wants to take medication. And nobody wants to try. They just feel like they can just get through it. But all it does is it gets worse. It gets worse yes. and it chops you down and it breaks you down even more. So it doesn't help you by not treating yourself. It hinders your progress through life and through adulthood. And it affects the relationships and the people that you love and that you're with. Because you seem to take it out right. on them instead of dealing with your problems yourself. Mm-hmm. My sister. <laughs> yes, ma'am. You know, you got to practice self-compassion. You got to pat yourself on the back and you got to be forgiving of yourself and acknowledging that you are doing the best that you can at that given moment. You know, speak to, to speak mm. to yourself as you would a friend or a loved one, but just talk to yourself and give yourself credit for what it is that you've accomplished. Like, Lord, just thank you for getting me through the day. Thank you for getting me through this hour. Thank you for getting me through this 15 minutes where my mind is all congested and I got stinking thinking going on. So, you know, you've got to, you mm. got to give back to yourself and practice self-compassion because if you don't, who else is going to tell you about yourself? Because they don't know fully what you're going through at that point in time Absolutely. or if you're having a bad day or if you're having a bad week or even a bad month. It goes into another month, into another month. So you really have to you really have to work on those things. And that is so true and that that is really important because you will be able to create this health and maintain not only personal relationships, healthy person but also business. So I'm just thankful for this topic and I mean just sharing your experience and my experiences I hope that someone can gravitate towards that because this is really this is something that we don't write down this is something we're speaking from from my heart and right right Jimmy I lost you can you hear me I can hear you you hear me I can hear you now I can hear you now, yes. You must be having a really bad storm there. You going in I'm and out? I'm trying to or tell something? you, I'm I'm just happy that the lights they flicker in and on and off. I'm just happy that oh, I'm still on the air. Well, we, need to get off, <laughs> we need to get out this air then, girl. Oh no. So <laughs> you know, Florida weather is so really me. bad. Well, I don't want nothing to happen to my friends, so we could get yeah, off and you know, my my uh, my mom always would say, when there is a thunderstorm, it's an indication that um, God is moving furniture in heaven. So let him move his furniture. Oh, that's <laughs> I don't know why my mom that's told me about thunderstorms. 
Well, listen, look, you still remember that she said that, so that's what's up. I'm not uh, mad at that. Thanks, Mom. Oh, oh like moving furniture. Why would he be moving, moving furniture? Well, I was like, okay. And where is he moving the furniture to, Mom? Exactly. <laughs> you got to be on that one. I was like, okay. Yeah. But yeah. um, on that. On that note, do you have anything you would like to add on, or are you good? No, I think that we have covered a lot of bases, and we've talked about a lot of things, mental health, mental awareness, mental illness. We touched on all things, and I'm I'm just happy that we brought this to the forefront and to the light, and we could talk about it openly and honestly. Mm, that's awesome. Well, yeah. on that note, I would like to thank you for allowing me to be your co-host, and I'm going to give you the remote. The mic. Okay. Well, everybody, make sure you tune in next Tuesday, 9 p.m., 8 p.m. Central Time. Is that what it is? It's something like that. You got it. And you can always hear you- Eastern Central, yeah. Yeah, Central Time. And you can always call in and converse with both me and Kimmy if you have anything to say about the topic or just chime in or just listen in at 646-564-9842. We are blessed, if nothing less, that we are able to come together and have this fellowship on this evening. So I appreciate you being my absolutely amazing co-host, Kimmy Kim. And I will and let thank you, you for having me. How about that? Sure. Okay. Thank you, Father God, for this wonderful podcast. Thank you for bringing my friend T, who I've been knowing since 1996. Oh, my goodness. Uh, together. And uh, please, Father, whatever the storm is in Florida, please pass over my friend. And I just thank you so much for tea time. And uh, we're going to have some good guests. I know this is going to be a great uh, fellowship of time for sisters to come together and break bread with one another and uh, continue on blessing she and all of the things that she's doing and uh, um, keep us in perfect peace while we keep our minds set, stay on you. And we make these wonderful prayers in your son Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God is good. Amen. God is good. Yes, he is. <laughs> All the time. Thank you, Kimmy Kim. No, no thank you, honey. Uh, we will talk tomorrow, right? Yes, ma'am. We will talk tomorrow. We will get together tomorrow. Okay. So I will call you at that time. So stay blessed, okay, if nothing less, everyone. Me a while to get to this place. I'm so glad I'm in.